Hey dudes, I'm Curious Oddity 101, but you can call me Curie, and welcome back to Fable Anniversary Edition. Um, so in the last video I was, uh, trying to, uh, dig up the ghost's treasure. Thing is, uh, basically I couldn't find it. I so miss your stench of dead fish. Oh, shut up, lady. Uh, so I was, uh, I ended up... In between recording that video and recording this one, I looked up a walkthrough just of where specifically it, the treasure is supposed to be buried. The ghost, like, I'm absolutely certain the ghost did say that it was to the left of the jetty if you look at the sea, but according to the walkthrough, it's actually between the jetty and the wife. Also, if I do the quest as instructed, apparently it awards 60 good points. Clearly, I do not want that, but there's a way around it. So, I will be doing that. Um, I think it's supposed to be like over here. I'm not totally sure. Like it, the the walkthrough didn't give a very specific um, description of where. Hmm. Well, let's see. All right, I'm gonna just double check what I was looking at, just to be on the safe side. Oh no, I misread the walkthrough. Okay. Well, oh, sorry about that. To the left. Should be around here, I think. Based on what the thing said. Oops, wrong thing. I hope I find it, because this is really annoying. Got it! Finally! Okay. Now I'm supposed to give this to her, but doing that increases my good by uh, 60 points. And I don't want that. Hmm, let's see. There was a guard over here before, I think, but not anymore. So. Oh, my love. Where are you? Remember how I said there was a way around being made more good by this quest? This is it. What are you doing? Killing you. Oh, this is taking forever. <laughs> okay, she's dead. Killing villagers is a very serious crime with a heavy penalty associated with it. Watch out for guards. Yep, increased my evil by 60. Nice. No, that was the right button. Uh, I was trying to remember which button uh, draws experience towards you. Now the question is, will the guards know it's me? I mean, she was killed by lightning, and I'm the only hero here, so probably. I'm watching you. Nope, the guards don't know it was me. Cool. Now, uh, according to the walkthrough, killing the wife makes the ghost disappear. I'm just gonna double check if that's true. I think I'm going the wrong way. Let's see, I need to go that way. The truth is, uh, it's actually kind of impossible to get the full benefits of doing this the evil way without either having done the quest before or looking at a walkthrough like I did, because you have to know what the ghost is ultimately going to tell you. So to fight beside you. No, I don't. I think I went too far. Ah, crap. You got rid of that ghost yet? Maybe. I don't know. Have you got rid of him yet? I think so. You have? Why, capital news. Come down and pay me and the chickens a visit if you like. 
Okay, cool. So the ghost is gone, which means that I did that correctly. Now, if I had done the quest as the ghost wanted, the ghost would tell me where a particular reward was buried. But since I did this the evil way, the ghost doesn't tell me, but the reward is still there. Is this the right place? This might be the right place. Who the fuck are you? Oh, hello. Can I ask you a personal question? Probably not. Have you ever tried blue mushrooms? Oh god, this again? I shared one with this guy in the guild woods the other night, and it was just... <laughs> amazing! <laughs> oh no. I've never connected with someone like that before. I wonder if it was the same for him. I'm not helping you solve your, your love life with drugs. Oh, Cyril. He was so sweet. But how do I know what we felt was real? You don't. And I'm not helping you with this bullshit. Oakvale well for your health and safety. Boil water before drinking. Good. This is good advice. Anyway, I went into the wrong place. The problem is remembering exactly where it was. Shouldn't take too long, I don't think, because there's the Oakvale's not that big. Need a good sword to fight beside you? No. Was it here? No. Need a good sword to fight beside you? Might have actually been in the memorial garden. But I think it was the area I was in before. Not that one, okay. And this leads to where I came in to town from. <sighs> Sorry, I'm totally blanking on where I actually saw specific things. That's the house that's for sale. Hello. That's fair, I guess. Confusing, but fair. I'm keeping you under surveillance. That's fair, too. I did just kill someone. I don't you don't know that, but I killed someone. Where was it? Um, see, okay, I'm looking for uh, the graveyard, and I think it's like this place with the grave with the joke I didn't get in the last video. But like for some reason, I am not remembering where that was. I was just there, and I don't remember it. Uh, it wasn't here, that's for sure. Wait, what was that saying? No, it must have been the person I was near. I don't think it was this way. No, it wasn't this way. Need a good sword to fight beside you? No. Is it this way? Oh, uh, no, duh, sorry, this is the place with the chest. Wow, I'm totally turned around. <sighs> no, not here. Ooh. What? Ooh. <laughs> First she's ooing, then she's booing. Okay, wasn't down here. Get out! <laughs> Lady, I could kill you. Nonsense. I've got my 
Wow, you kill one lady and suddenly everyone hates you. I, this is completely inexplicable. What's really inexplicable is the fact that I cannot find that graveyard area. Huh. Where was I? It's almost like the fact like they resent the fact that I murdered someone. I mean, come on, it's not like she's even the first person I murdered. She's just the one that increased my evil the most. I find the little graveyard area. Why am I able to come in here? There's nothing in here. So there's supposed to be... Well, hmm. Need a good sword to fight beside you. Dude, will you please shut up? Oh, here. This is where it was. Uh, no, this is just a single grave. Not a graveyard. I'll try going in here, seeing if this is it. Ah, here it is. Um, I think this is it. Uh, there's a statue with a- oops, wrong thing. There's a statue with an axe that I'm supposed to dig underneath. Got it. Okay, silver key and an obsidian great axe. Yeah, these are the rewards that I was supposed to get for that quest. Like I said, there's no way to know these are here unless uh, you've actually been told by the ghost at some point, or you read a walkthrough. Let's see. These great axes are, cov are covered with an unpleasant, damp uh, scent that never wears off, and veins of black metal that shoot through the shaft's wooden hilt. This treatment has also reinforced its edge, making it almost unbreakable, or unblockable, wow, <laughs> and capable of cleaving through flesh and bone with ease. Ooh, wow, that does a much higher damage than my current one. It is heavy, though, so there's that. Oh, right, that's clothing. I need weapons. Why is the Great Axe not in here? What the hell? Steel mace, steel great hammer, steel axe, obsidian great axe. Here it is. For some reason I couldn't see it. I must have scrolled over it and just thought that I hadn't. That was weird. Alright. Now what happens if I... Okay. It's heavy like the hammer, so... It moves really slowly. Hmm, that could be a problem. Oops. Well, it, let's see. Yeah, it does more damage than the steel great hammer. So there's that, I guess. But it's very slow to use. What's this? Huh. 
Huh. That, uh, the cross section on that log looks like a flower. These gargoyles look like the uh, statues in front of the Chapel of Scorn. Can I read this by any chance? There's no inscription, I guess. Here lies the infamous poet M. Hill, gorged on, gorged on too many words and had his fill. Really? Dude, no. Bad. Wait, that's what I just read over here. Oh, the grave says, you're standing on my head. The grave states, Robert Crowley loved to death, he slept with nymphs, they stole his breath. I mean, probably not the worst way to go. Yeah, fuck. The ra the grave says <laughs> the rave, yes. The grave says a bandit raid victim uh charred beyond recognition. Hmm. Could have been one of the uh, people my character grew up with. These are too many graves and I'm bored, so I'm leaving. Sword to fight beside you. Hmm. Are there any guards? I don't see any guards. Yeah, this is it's too slow to be useful. Your health is low. Do well, he's dead, so it doesn't matter. Food? Okay, so now I guess the next step is to see if I get caught. Oh, this is someone's house, I think. It's got more beds in the inn. What kind of books they got? The Oakvale Raid. What are you doing round here? Sorry, leaving. That's fine. I just stole your book, that's all. Apparently you can't read it if you're stealing it. It's like Skyrim. Tempt you to a game of chicken chicken, sir. Okay. <laughs> Bye. What is my alignment at at this point? experience. Here we go. Personality. Oh, fuck. My alignment is only negative 36. I'm very disappointed. Unless I misread it and it said negative 96. No, it definitely says negative 36. What the fuck, though? Because, like, killing that lady gave me negative 60. Why did I have a positive 30 alignment modifier before? Whoops. What am I doing? I meant to do this. I was gonna check on quests and see what to do next. Nothing. 
Great. Uh. There we go. I think there's a quest for me there, hopefully. Let's see. You must Oops, what? You must find the bandit camp. What, what bandit camp? Ah, find the bandit secrets. Let's see. Oh, Sirius. <laughs> right, yes, searching for Teresa. Why did I read Sirius' secrets? Ugh, I'm sorry, sleepy brain. Find the Sirius in the bandit camp who might be able to tell you about your sister, Teresa. <laughs> oh, she can tell me about Teresa, all right. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm sorry. I know I probably should be playing this as if I didn't already know information that hasn't been revealed in the game yet, but, like, it's just, it's really funny going through this already knowing. Nonsense. Well, Get out of it. I, I guess if you go evil, even the guild doesn't like you, despite the fact that they're actually monetarily incentivizing me to go evil. Oh, right. I wonder if I can learn anything. Hmm. Summon. Summon, uh, summon wrenches a creature, a creature's soul and form from the netherworld to help the caster. If this creature kills another, it is replaced by the soul of the newly fallen victim. Higher levels allow the caster to keep the creature summoned for longer. That could be useful. Ooh, what's this? This spell propels the caster through space in the blink of an eye. If a victim is targeted, uh, the spell enables the caster to move behind this unfortunate instantaneously. Higher levels propel the caster even further. I have a lot of experience to spell. Spell? Wow. <laughs> to, uh, spend. Let's see. This allows the caster to trade in his magical energy for health. Health can also be passed to non-hostile entities in the vicinity. Higher levels provide more health with each use. Only the virtuous can master this spell. Okay, not gonna be able to do that then. The more mana you have, the more energy you have for casting spells. Magic power defines the length of your mana energy bar. Oh! I need that. Um, let's see. I'll buy summon level 1 and summon level 2. Are you sure you wish to undo your last upgrade? You will receive all of your experience back. What? Oh. Oh, okay. I could only level that up once, I guess. But I was able to level up my magic power level twice. I'm confused. I guess I'll get a little bit of everything. Maybe now I can level it up further? Oh no, it means okay, I ran out of um, experience to level up with. Got it. Hmm. I'd like to increase my speed, I think. Oh, 
But what about accuracy? Oh, accuracy only really helps with ranged combat, and I do most of my ranged stuff with spells. Um. Oops, wrong thing. I really should level up my health. Physique defines, uh, dictates the force with which you can swing a weapon, and thus the amount of damage you can cause. With greater strength also comes the ability to wield heavy weapons. So the reason that I've been having so much trouble with some of the weapons I have is because I don't have a, enough, a high enough physique level. Okay, I can buy toughness level 1, but not the next level of health. Which, toughness is just defense, so... Is there anything I can... okay, that's everything, I think. Well, let's see, can I wield this now? No, I still can't. Which means, for now, I need to re-equip my lighter weapon because that's not going to work out. There we go. At least now I know why I was having so much trouble. Where am I supposed to go for the... Uh... What? I thought I accepted the bandit Sears quest. Oh, I guess not. Okay. Where am I supposed to go first? Find the start of the bandit camp path from the beach in Oakvale. Which beach? Get away from me. <laughs> yes, that's right. Yes, King <laughs> Yes, good. Or well, evil, I guess. To the beach it is, I guess. Hello. I'm watching you. Hey, as long as you're not uh, punishing me for murdering two people in town, then we're all good. I'm gonna go to this beach first. I think it's most likely to be from this beach. Let's see what's around where. Well, I think I just found the path. You'll need to sneak past those bandits to reach their camp. If any of them see you, they'll raise the alarm and lock the gate. And if that happens, you must stay hidden for a short time before the gates reopen. Yay, stealth. Uh, can I... Hmm. Well, there's no time limit on it. So to sneak, press the left stick while moving. The awareness eye on your mini-map will begin to open if something detects your presence. Okay, so that's how it works. I'm going to leave this video here. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. 
If you did enjoy it, or if you're bored with the amount of meandering I did, please do like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in my next video.